Hey, happy Father's Day. I hope that if you get to see this today at some point that you get a moment to reflect as I am on this honorable day for, for fathers or really anyone that you care deeply about. Um, just enjoying this moment out on a little walk with the pup here and uh, reflecting on, you know, even though my, my father isn't around anymore, there's there's so many moments that I reflect back on quite often and more than not the, the good ones, you know, and it's, it's cool days like this that we can really... Uh, take that reflection and um, make the most of the memories that we have, right? You know, sometimes life's a blur, we're going by each and every day, and we don't take the time to sit and relish in the thoughts that we've had with someone, whether they're still around, not around. Um, and I think that's the, the coolest part of days like this, Father's Day, Valentine's Day. Sometimes people are like, you know, you should be doing things like thinking of these people and doing these kind acts every day. But I think these days are extra special because we can take just that extra special moment to honor them in a, in a particular special way. And my dad was one of those people that I'm, I'm always, I'm always looking back on and thinking of all the things that he shared with me, whether I was listening or soaking it in, retaining it or not. He was always handing knowledge down to me based on his experiences, what he thought something would, would be about, you know, his, his, his perception, his opinion. I mean, my dad cared so much that uh, he was always giving to me. And, you know, whether I was receiving or not, I realized that there's a lot of areas of my life that I tie myself back to my dad, you know, especially when it comes to like handyman work, you know, owning a home the past two years, he knew how to do it all. And so every single time we have someone over to fix something or look at something or update something, I'm thinking, man, if, if I only listened a little more to my dad, or if he was around still to do this, to do this with me, to, to learn from him and by him, um, it, it'd be such a cool, cool moment because as much as I looked up to him and all the things that he was able to do so well, um, I think he looked up to me a lot too because after he passed, um, a lot of his friends have, have shared with me that uh, he shared a lot of the things he was proud about with me too. You know, hey, Ty stepped on the bodybuilding stage. You know, let me tell you about it. He he wrote this book about his, his fitness journey and it's out now and you can get it here and um, the, this Tony Robbins stuff, you know, he's into the self-improvement stuff and they've got him doing this and that. And it's, it's really neat. He spoke at a seminar, you know, he spoke at a seminar this weekend. It was revolved around this and the, it's so cool to hear all the stories that he was so amped up and excited to share about his own son, you know, and although our relationship wasn't always the most open to where he would, um, express those things to me, it's really neat to know that he, spoke about me so highly because I respected my dad in so many ways. Like he was such a well-rounded individual. He was such a people person. He made everyone, everyone laugh. He was always like the life of the party so much that it was, it was embarrassing at times um, because he was just so extra. He was so out there and um, it's just a, a funny dude, you know, and being his son, it's just like, oh gosh, dad at times. But, um, you know, I'll never forget even the, the days leading up to um, him passing, you know, we went to this Tony Robbins event at the United Center in Chicago and it was one of the coolest experiences not because he was there but because he got to see me in one of my environments you know that was something that I, I've really uh, taken a special interest in and bettering myself not only for myself but those that I'm around as well you know adding to my own life by adding to others lives and to have him there even though he wasn't fully immersed he didn't see it the way I did just having him a part of a piece of my life that meant a lot to me was really special and although um my my tie to that experience is, is a little negative because of his passing just just days after um i still get to think back and think wow i'm so glad i got to share that experience with him in, in such a way um and it's so unfortunate all the the ailments and the and the pain and the pressure he was under but to think that I got to I got to share my my last few days with my father in such a way is is a really cool thought. So I'll end it there. I hope that you get to uh, reflect in some way today, whether it's someone special to you or your father. Um, enjoy this extra special day in honoring our fathers.